welcome. I can't imagine lasagna without garlic bread. So I'm going to make garlic bread tonight with our lasagna. So I have just bought a local bread and I've sliced it. Not totally through, just slice the slices. I melted 250 grams of butter. You can use margarine if you want to. And we're going to put it together. There's not a lot of secrets to making garlic butter, but I do have a few secrets here. That is mayonnaise. Yes, yes, yes. It gives it a bit of a tang and it makes it creamy. So in 250 gram of butter, I'm adding three tablespoons of mayonnaise. Let me get some garlic. I've crushed some garlic. This is about two full teaspoons. Of course, the garlic is what makes garlic butter garlic butter. And then about a teaspoon of salt. It's important, maybe a teaspoon and a half here. It's important that the garlic butter should be salty because it comes with a bread that's not too salty. And then, of course, a good grinding of black pepper. We're going to add a teaspoon of Italian herbs to that. That was about a teaspoon and a half. We're going to mix all of this together. Let me just get the last bit of herbs over there. Just mix this together. And then we're going to fill our bread. It's time to put the butter into the garlic bread. So I tear off a piece of foil. I put the garlic bread skew like that so that it can cover the bread. So then I just scoop it spoon by spoon into my bread. So the garlic breads are stuffed and wrapped and I'm going to keep them like this until my lasagna is half baked. About half an hour into the baking time I will add my garlic bread to bake and heat up with the lasagna. The garlic bread was in the oven for half an hour at 180 degrees Celsius and 350 Fahrenheit and this is the moment that I've been waiting for. So it's lovely and crispy can hear that and then we have the buttery herbal inside 